Welcome to A Voyage in Time, on this day in history. On July 1st of the year 69, the Roman general Vespasian was proclaimed the Roman Emperor by his troops in Egypt. The Roman Empire, prior to this event, had been ruled by the Julio-Claudian dynasty since the time of Augustus Octavian, first emperor and nephew of Julius Caesar. However, in the year 68, the final Julio-Claudian Emperor Nero was killed in his villa after being declared a public enemy by the Senate. This inaugurated the first Roman Civil War in almost 100 years, and the year 69 would become known as the Year of the Four Emperors. The first emperor was Galba, who was endorsed by the Prefect of the Praetorian Guards as the next emperor. Though Galba was initially able to enter the city of Rome easily with only a single legion, his revocation of popular policies, executions of senators without trial, and his foolish lack of payment to the Praetorian Guard for their support would result in the Praetorian Guard killing Galba and his successor in January 69. The second emperor was Otho, governor of Lusitania and former supporter of Gar Galba. He was declared emperor by the Senate after participating in the murder of Galba. Otho's most immediate problem was the revolt of the legions in Germania led by General Vitellius. When those legions invaded Italy, they were met by Otho at the First Battle of Bedricrum in April 69. Otho's forces were defeated, and Otho would commit suicide afterwards, making Vitellius the year's third emperor. This claim of emperorship was rejected by the Roman legions in the east, who proclaimed Vespasian, who was in the Middle East fighting the First Jewish-Roman War, as their emperor on July 1st, 69. Vespasian would leave the war against the Jews in his son's command and quickly take control of critical Egyptian grain. Before the legions under Vespasian could reach Rome, the forces of Vitellius would be defeated by legions from the Danubian regions that had sworn loyalty to Vespasian at the Second Battle of Bedricum on October 24th, 69. The victorious Danubian legions would enter Rome shortly afterwards, and Vitellius would be killed. Vespasian would formally ascend to being the Emperor of Rome on the 21st of December, 69. Exactly one year after Vespasian being proclaimed Emperor, his son Titus assembled the battering rams for breaking down the walls of Jerusalem, which would effectively end the Jewish revolt against Roman rule. Vespasian would pass the title of Emperor to Titus when he died, making Vespasian the first Roman Emperor to be succeeded by his biological son. In this way, Vespasian also became the founder of the Flavian dynasty of Roman Emperors. Thank you for watching today's video on this day in history. I'll see you again tomorrow in the past.